Uh, correction, my team and I have had an amazing week. Yesterday was the birth of our new spinoff show, The Game of Love After Dark. We are so thrilled to have it out. It is on Spotify, Apple, OnlyFans, a hey, Patreon. Um, so you have this um, new show that takes specific sexual topics and we break them down. So it's 90 minutes that we really dive deep on these topics to normalize talking about sex, to de-shame, normalize, um, and then, you know, to be tantalizing, entertaining, educational, all that good stuff. So each episode of The Game of Love After Dark is going to be a specific topic. And the first one that we have out is porn. <laughs> I love to say in that flat out, porn. Porn is our first episode. So we go through the pros and the cons, how it can help or hinder your real sex life. And uh, you might hear from my co-host, Rashawn Sanchez and I, if we watch porn, if we do, what are we watching? So it's pretty, pretty spicy. Um, big shout out to my team, producer Danny Bailey. Thank you so much, Danny. You're so wonderful. Glad to be a part of it. <laughs> and then um, Rashawn Sanchez, my co-host, who is not on the mics tonight, but I'm staring at her gorgeous face in the production booth. Thank you, you guys. Way to crush it. We are going to celebrate soon, crack open a bottle of champagne, and toast to this wonderful show. So again, if you guys want to see the show, uh, if you want to listen to the show, you uh, oh, and that's another thing that's really cool about this spinoff show is you can listen to us on Spotify or on Apple, and you can watch us because we have new sexy studio space. So you can see our gorgeous faces in real time on OnlyFans and Patreon. So... Without further ado, let's start tonight's show because, you guys, I'm so excited because I have two <laughs> people here with me that I just adore. They are coming back for their second appearance on the Game of Love radio show. I have American Ninja Warrior, TED Talk speaker. I am now calling him Mr. Keynote because he is all over the world speaking to everyone right now. And he is also the author of his very new book, fail proof. I have Alex Weber here. Alex, thanks for being here. Oh, <laughs> oh this is great. The energy here. I'm, I'm so fired up. Jessica, you're my favorite people and oh. uh, thank you for having me. Thank you. And then I have your bestie in here. How exciting again, making his second appearance on this show. He's a world traveler, entrepreneur, co-founder of Stayamo and incredible dog dad. I have Jordan Kahana here. Jordan. Hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we have, we, we, we're having a little it's technical difficulty. It's supposed to be on. I might have to have you guys share a mic. I'm oh, sorry. Say less. Oh, here we go. Oh, they're going to share a mic. Well, hold on, ladies and gentlemen. They're going to get real <laughs> okay, cozy great. up this in here. This wonderful. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Jordan, thank you so much for being here. Like oh, my God. Beatles right now, like a classic. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, if you are just listening to the show, you might want to download the Mile High Sports app so you can see these two sharing a mic or go to Mile High Sports website and you can watch them. It's, it's adorable. You guys, thank you so much for cozying up to the mic and being here with me. It's great to have you guys here. I adore the both of you. And um, you guys, we had so much fun last time. Um, and you have you both have so much going on right now, doing some incredible work in the world. Uh, Alex, are you even here in Colorado anymore? Or are you just jet setting around the world? Well, in addition to sharing a mic, I'm crashing a Jordan's tonight. So <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, this last stretch, you know, and Jordan travels a, a ton as well. So it's been three weeks nonstop, which there's definitely so grateful for all of it. But there definitely are like interesting moments, and I'm excited to. It's looking like Boulder for the winter. I gotta dot some eyes on that one, i.e., okay. find a place to live. But uh, it's gonna come together. It's gonna come together. It always does. Does anyone have a place I can live? <laughs> uh, I, I'm sure there's some ladies out there that are like, um, yes. <laughs> <I'm open. laughs> there's, there's hands yeah, going yeah. up. There's hands going up. Um, Alex, congratulations on your new book. What an accomplishment. And um, how does it feel to be a published author? Thanks. I, 
<laughs> I think, you know, it's funny. I was thinking about this today. You saying that is like a moment where I'm like, oh, cool. It, cause it's, it hasn't really felt, there's so much work that goes into it that I don't think, I think this is just like a flaw of me as a, a person. Anybody else got flaws? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm not good at celebrating things. And so I think I'm now trying to pick my head up. And when I've received messages from people saying like, Hey, I genuinely like what you said, helped me today, like in the book that that's a huge win. And so, uh, yeah, I'm psyched called fail proof. It's on Amazon. Thank you so much. That's it. Yeah. Uh, buy, buy it, <laughs> review it, give it oh, a five star rating <laughs> and reach out to me if you do. Cause it, it really means a lot. And I'd love to, to talk with you. Well, um, again, being an author myself, I, I, have experienced a lot of probably the same emotions that you're having that you work so hard to get a book out and then you're hustling in all other parts of your life and it comes out and it's like, Oh my God, this is so cool. And then all of a sudden there are these moments of like, Oh my God, I actually did that. And it's yeah. well, well, one I, I think was, which is cool to me today is my nieces. Uh, I FaceTimed them uh, and they got it and they held it up and it was like cool for them. And that, was cool for me, Aww. I guess. Yeah. So that was a. Uh, they had some critiques. They're pretty hard hitting, actually. With them, <laughs> <but> <laughs> they said it fell apart at the end. Uh, but <laughs> no. Oh, uh, the yeah. truth that youngsters yeah, provide yeah. us, right? Oh my goodness. Well, um, again, congratulations. And and Jordan, what have you been up to? I just see your amazing pictures on Instagram every day, and I'm like, this man has the 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 best life. Yeah, I, I've been, uh, so similar to Alex, um, I actually, so I am in Colorado now, uh, and Denver specific. I just moved into my new spot on Saturday, so very, very fresh. And prior to that, I spent the last, like, five or six weeks on the road, uh, and I drove all through from Denver to L.A. And um, around, like, mid-September, I just had a bit of, like, um, a calmness or a, a proud moment of where I was with creating content so that's why you've been seeing so much so I've just been really refining myself as a storyteller photographer and all that and being able to travel and that's like my bread and butter so that really played into why I've been just like running around and doing that and trying to really I, I mean Alex and I had a conversation a couple of years ago and I always think about it so much where he asked because I was like I just need to go out and do this like adventure I just need to go out and he's like well are you doing it for the content or are you doing it for your soul Ooh. and so I always like think about that so much and back then it was like I need to create all this content I need to do this and I uh, thankfully I'm at a point where I am working with companies and and getting paid to do this but at the same time so I was out there creating content but so much of it was fulfilling for me and it felt very just like good and it, mm. it filled my soul on top of just I have a camera in my hand and I'm able to capture this, but it was less of like snap a couple photos, set it down and let's watch the sunset. Let's like Aww. just really be able to embrace it. And so that's why things have helped out for me so much. And I'm so excited to be settled here in Denver and, and this new chapter. Oh, well, Denver is a better place with you in it and, and so Colorado much. with both of you. Really, I you guys are wonderful and your content is so beautiful and uh, like Instagram, I love it, but there's just so much, you know, to filter. But every time I see one of your posts, I'm like, wow, nice job, Jordan. Can, can I, <laughs> can I come camping with your dogs and <laughs> bring my dogs? Please, and <laughs> come on. Yeah, sure. They're very creative too. I'll also just say that with Jordan, like it is to make content on some of these apps. It's almost like a different world. Some of them. Yeah. And I'll see some of the things he puts up on Instagram and TikTok, and they're like, they're very engaging and heartfelt, but funny and like trendy. Uh, so it's a skill. It's You're a skill. skilled. You're a skilled yes. man. Yes. <laughs> and speaking of that skill, uh, I, I heard a little rumor that your TikTok blew up. Um, well, like TikTok is great for creators. And I invested into creating more content on TikTok in August of this year year i had the mantra of no idea is a bad idea so if i have an idea to create something i'm going to create it hit post and move on with it as opposed to sitting there and thinking about it mm. is it good enough is this is this and i've kind of like fallen into like because i've um i've like doubled my following in the last couple months and just like have had some things go viral for me on there um i am starting to be a little bit more critical and like wanting that mm. and i had to like almost like you know, uh, 
hyperbolically like smack myself in the face of being like just just hit post like if it works it does and if it doesn't okay we know that that doesn't let's why didn't that work because it wasn't relatable and so i've been really investing into that and being tiktok is such a great way to get connected and find new people they do such a better job than any other social media platform Mm -hmm. and so i've just been putting my time and uh, attention into that well, it's paying off. People are loving it. Yeah, and I hope, yeah fingers it, crossed. Like, like Alex said, you have such a unique um, and, and beautiful, powerful vibe to your, your you. social media. So um, people are definitely going to need to follow you so they can <laughs> partake and enjoy all that you are doing. Um, I'm so glad you guys are staying in, in Colorado. I'm, I'm hoping that Alex is going to make his way to Denver. Can we? I want. I'm. I'm trying to encourage him. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully after uh, this show, we're gonna go out and we're gonna go out on like Broadway, and he's gonna Ooh. get to like experience that a little bit more. Yep. And because his things are still up in the air a little bit, he's gonna slowly migrate his way uh, into it. Very open, very nimble. Yeah. I love it. Well, um, you know, just just call. You have my number, Jordan. You want okay, help perfect. coursing him down here? Done. We can, yeah. And we you can probably t- know better than I do the best spots to go and and all that kind of stuff. And, when we went out with you that first night. <laughs> that was so much fun. I, I loved ha- having you guys out with me. And well, um, we're not going out tonight, but what we've been doing on the show is we've been picking places in town uh-huh. that we shout out here and then we go there afterwards. And it's been so fun so much fun so i have to work up in the mountains in the morning so we're gonna you know keep it pretty pg okay. tonight well, well we can still do that alex and i can still go you, out you we can, can still see go who, out. who ends up meeting up with Are us we doing yeah. a meet up? Yeah. is this a meet up <laughs> please oh. come if it's just me and jordan i'll feel <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. You guys are incredible. Um, we need to take a break. Don't go anywhere, but you can still cuddle up, okay? Um, and, and if you don't go anywhere, we'll be right back to Game of Love. All I could want, all I could wish for, nights alone that we miss more, the days we save as souvenirs, there's no time, I want to make more time. Hi, this is Todd Burnham with the Burnham Law Firm. When I moved here from New York in 2009, I started in a basement. Now we have four office locations throughout Colorado. We've been selected as Colorado Super Lawyers. We have a 10.0 AVO rating and recently selected Colorado's top 1%. We focus on divorce, family law, and personal injury. And quite frankly, nobody does it better. So if you want the best, call Burnham Law, 303-990-5308 or online at BurnhamLaw.com. Burnham Law, no slogans, just great lawyers. Living Water Car Wash is Colorado's premier car wash experience. And yes, I said experience. That's because Living Water Car Wash has invested in great customer service and unmatched quality. How? By treating the water through a reverse osmosis technique that means the calcium, the minerals, everything is extracted, leaving you with a spot-free wash. And 70% of the water gets recycled every time. Living Water Car Wash has been expanding with new locations all over the metro, and that's because their quality keeps customers coming back again and again. Find the location near you by visiting livingwatercarwash.com. Smoke and Dave's Barbecue and Brew is open for dine-in for their locations in Denver and Centennial. Don't want to dine in just yet? No problem. Still available for great takeout. Get some of my favorites. Slowly smoked ribs, smoked corned beef Reuben, smoked wings, baked beans with pork and brisket, as well as fantastic non-barbecue options. It's in times like these we need to support our local businesses. Reservations are recommended. Or order online at SmokingDavesBarbecue.com and treat yourself to the best barbecue in Colorado. SJO Electric has been a locally owned and operated family business since 2004. Specializing in both residential and commercial buildings, SJO Electric is a full-service electrical contractor serving the Denver metro area and Colorado's front range. SJO offers free job walks as well as 24-7 emergency service. Check out their website, sjoelectric.com, for coupons or give them a call at 303-400-4321. Choosing a place to watch the game is tough. That's why Society Sports and Spirits downtown on Blake Street is your lock of the week. Don't take my word for it. They've been the highest rated sports bar in Denver for five years running with a sports book style wall. They can show every game because they have every sports package. This year, they've remodeled and opened the fan cave with pool tables, darts, and TVs on every wall. So join us on game day and watch your game at Society downtown on Blake Street. Just look for the whiskey sign above the door. 
Sasquatch and Wildcard Casinos in Blackhawk are giving away a Chevy Colorado on Hagland Tracks. And if you don't want it, they'll give you $25,000 in cash. Grand prize drawings are November 27th and 28th, 2021. Get finalist entries every half hour from 10 a.m. until midnight during their daily cash drawings. Sasquatch and Wildcard Casinos. Amazing giveaways, daily cash drawings, really loose slots, great food, and don't forget to check out their new sports book. Sasquatch and Wildcard, a family-owned casino that treats you like family. Billboard, baby, do a leap and make them dance when it come on. Everybody looking for a dance floor to run on. If you want to run away with me, I know a galaxy. It's the Game of Love with Jessica Smith. That's right, everyone. Happy Friday. Game of Love. I'm Jessica Smith. I have two of my favorite people in the studio. I have Alex Weber, Jordan Kahana. I always want to say your name. Like, I can't say it normal. I have to, like, be like Kahana or, like, Kahana. <laughs> Or something like it needs some like finesse to it. <laughs> it is um, a cool name. It is a cool name. Um, okay, guys. First segment we talked about life and everything, and you know I'm sitting here like chomping at the bit because <laughs> you know what I want to talk about. You know I want to talk about your guys' love life. The game of love. Yeah, exactly. The game That's of love. Right we know what we signed up yeah. for. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay, so um, I'm just going to come right out. There's going to be no foreplay. We're just going to go right wow. in. That's not good, though. <laughs> That's scientifically proven not to be good, but we, we can skip that part. Okay, I'm thank a, you. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, just, we'll just hop right into it. So what's happening in your love life, Jordan? Wow, yes. just me. Yeah. Wow. Turn I was I was hoping to get a little. I, I was hoping for Alex to be the foreplay in this situation. Of, you were avoiding eye contact know, with me. You were like, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Look at um, Alex. Look at Alex. Yeah, that's a that's a great question. Um, it's been interesting because I've been on the road for the last five weeks or so, and so traveling around it it has been a bit of a challenge. Um, of just like gonna be in different cities and and you know through being a public figure hard quote i hate like saying that but you like are, put, you putting are. myself out there on social media and being able to be like telling people my itineraries and stuff like that um i have gone on dates and met up with different people and as i've been on the road and and doing certain things um and it's been very interesting of connecting with other creators as well of being like hey i have this project do you want to come out and shoot this and and kind of be a part of it and have like a flirty element to Ooh. it and um and finding that balance because there was with with one of the projects or, or trips this was a, a handful of weeks ago um i started talking with this girl and i was just like i just came out and said it because i've always wanted to say this to someone where it's just like do you want to just be my like pretend girlfriend for five days like you live in a different city we're just vibing i think you're super cute like who knows what really happens but like just be cool for five days and let's have a, like the best time ever and we'll see what can happen from it. Um, and so it's been kind of interesting and um, trying to find ultimately like we were talking about this on the way over here is just ultimately we are looking for that consistency. Mm -hmm. um, but you kind of have to go through and date and, and talk and go through all these talking stages. And it and I know you wanted to bring this up a little bit in terms of like just dating or being on the road and traveling so much and the the challenges that come with that um so that's like the openness of it essentially right now is just like there are a couple people but it, it seems that it's all in like different areas as opposed to like there is one girl here that i've been talking to and it's been cool to have that like hey just come over or, hey let's go on a date on a random wednesday night even though i've only been here for a couple days like to have that as opposed to so i'll see you in three weeks we'll get together for a week like you know it's just a to have that casualness is something I haven't had in a handful of months. And so it's been really nice to, to have that. And, and that's what dating someone like, I, I don't know. I'm like running out of steam here a little bit, no, but you're we, good, were, you're good. we were talking about how, be, because we were, <laughs> right. because we travel so much that meeting up with other people in different cities is like, Hey, so if this works out, if we catch like a really strong vibe, spending some time in Seattle, spending some time in Phoenix, spending some time in Chicago to, to feel it out. Yeah. is an opportunity that's that's unique to most people well i i love how you're so open and that you're also being very direct about your intentions and being playful too i love that hey you want to be my pretend girlfriend for five days that's something that rashawn and i we we do that kind of stuff too there's been 
Um, there was one guy that I briefly dated and I would, I just said, Hey, can I keep you around to be the plus one at this wedding? And so the joke was, I just called him plus one. So mm -hmm. I'd be like, Hey, plus one, how's your day going? And there's times that like, there's a night I'd meet a guy and I'm like, can you just be my boyfriend tonight? Just tonight. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, cool. That's great. You know, that's, and that's so great. And, and there's that, just that, that comfortability that comes with it or just the, the calmness of just like, Hey, we're catching a vibe right now. Let's just enjoy that. Let's not worry about anything else that goes beyond it because like I did start talking to this girl and she's like, well, I'm very, you're either friends or my hu future husband. And I'm like, that is so much pressure to like mm. have an initial hangout as opposed to yeah, we're vibing via text and who knows what happens. Like you're super cute. You think I'm a, like, you're definitely showing you're me signs that like, too, I appreciate that. Thank you. And so like, <laughs> but that <laughs> yeah. it's the beard for me. <laughs> it's the nails for me. Oh, right thank now. you. Thank you. <laughs> um, and so that, that kind of pressure as opposed to just like, let's just have a really good time. You're an awesome person. I'm an awesome person. And let's remove that concern, which like, actually bit me in the butt a little bit this summer which we can maybe circle back to where I was just being like I, I saw this how I met your mother episode and I was watching that where he was like they met at a wedding and he's like no last names like let's not have any follow-up we have just tonight let's y you know all this kind of stuff and I kind of took that into it of like let me just take someone for who they are especially mm -hmm. with being on social media and all that kind of stuff is like how much of social media or technology can I remove and learn about this person from what they tell me and the the vibe that we're having and the communication that we're creating as opposed to seeing them out to dinner on a Thursday night and being like who are they with what's going on like mm -hmm. creating these narratives that social media provides I love that. I love that approach. And um, I want to get Alex here in yeah. on this conversation. Right. We should just and this right off. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, oh. <laughs> I love there's like beads of sweat forming I feel like on. We, we, we were taking turns like going in the hot seat. Like, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, all right, Ed, it's your turn. Yeah, we got to break that ice like, because we are trying to be as PC as possible. And there mm. is like. <laughs> I mean, I. I, I <laughs> Give no. it to us, Alex. Come on. <laughs> Come on. What's happening in Mr. I, Weber's love life? Oh, he's starting to blush. <laughs> I, I think Jordan and I are, are similar in the regard of like traveling is very close to our purpose and our uh, careers and our what we love to do. We like really love seeing new places. And, and there's pros and cons of that because that can be tough for, for dating. Like I remember the summer I did meet a girl and it was kind of like, okay, well, we can go on a second date in three weeks. And it, and it just kind of like fizzled you know mm -hmm. and so i i think it's tough because in one hand just being real i carry a little bit of uh i project this upon myself i think i carry a little bit of like shame around i don't want to be like frat jock lacrosse some of what i was in my 20s i i like passionately don't want to be that and uh, I don't know, but I think sometimes I, I can get maybe too standoffish because of it. And, and uh, I don't know. I, I think it's trying to navigate this like where we're on the road and we could potentially meet someone like Jordan was saying. Like if you're in a city and you do meet with someone, that was part of I think I know my intention. I believe Jordan's too of giving away a lot of our possessions was that this next chapter of life could be anywhere. Mm. With also, if you do meet someone and it goes well, also not trying to be like a sailor who's like, well, I'm off to sea. Like, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I'm laughing because that's what my life was <laughs> yeah. for yeah, a while. Yeah. I, I said this, I think on our last show, I'm like, I had a man in every port. Wow. And it was just great. I'd roll into New York and I'd be like, who do I want to see? Do I want to see him, him or him? And then like LA, I was like, oh, and then I got Dallas and it was like, Everywhere I went, it was like Wait, I just rolled in. But let's let's talk about that. The importance of like traveling and having that like those people that you kind of keep tabs on and stay in connection with, and they, you kind of understand the situation. There is this yeah. mutual understanding that you travel a lot, things are happening, but the connection is there, mm -hmm. and so there is this somewhat fluidity. And and I, it's definitely great to hear you say that as well, because Alex and I talk about it off air and just like, cause we have that similarities. And so there is this like fine line that we're trying to walk of like talking about it, but also understanding like 
how normal is this or how often do other people do this? So hearing you say that is very calming, I guess, or I I don't know. I'd love to hear more about that. Well, I'm glad it's, it is calming to you. And, um, you really spoke to me a moment ago when you were talking about not being that frat boy and, you know, walking that fine line. And from the female perspective, I called myself a playboy. And because I was just out there kind of acting like a dude and it it was working for me. But I think it is it's a beautiful place to be if you were. I don't know what your guys like long term plan is. You know, I don't know if you're looking to get married and have kids at one point or, you know, what you're looking to do. But I think right now, since you guys are both like thriving in life right now, you guys are just crushing it that, you know, as long as you have integrity and you're communicating, which you both are excellent communicators. I mean, you know, you're on stage every day talking to people. You're, you know, in front of millions of people on your stage. And, you know, you guys are on stage talking to people. So having that integrity and being able to communicate and also have the openness that I I won't go down this rabbit hole too far, but several years ago I went – Um, on the on this world tour and I was all over the world and my goal was to see like how how deeply I could connect with people as I went around the world and to be non-attached so it was very beautiful to dive into these momentary relationships or love interest or and to be fully in it like it was so spiritual and of course fun and sexy and all that stuff and there was a place that you know I had to maintain my own integrity and communicate and I I think what you guys are doing are great and I since I know you guys personally I know you two are both remarkable humans and you conduct yourself with style and grace so um Thank you for that. You're welcome. You're <laughs> yeah. welcome. I feel like Jordan and I both needed that. <laughs> you, <laughs> yeah, that you needed that validation, that like pat on the back. Like, you guys are good. You guys are good. Okay. Um, we're not done with this topic, but we do have to take a break. And when we come back, we're going to hear more from Jordan and Alex on The Game of Love. There's a stranger in my bed. There's a pounding in my head. Glitter all over the room. Pink flamingos in the sky. All right, me old China. I'm Lee Ma. Marvin, head into GB Fish and Chips, get out of your barackers and meet us there for pig's ears, tiddlywinks and amazing dog's eyes. They'll have footy on the Liza, so don't forget your dicky dirt. Translation. Hello, mate. I'm starving. I'm heading to GB Fish and Chips. Get out of your pyjamas and meet me there for beers, drinks and amazing meat pies. They're sure to have the football game on the telly, so don't forget to wear your shirt. Visit GB Fish and Chips at one of three convenient locations or at gbfishandchips.com. Hey gang, it's Nate Lundy, and for years I've been telling you about my friends Dave and Mark at Key Real Estate Group's Colorado Luxury Home Team. That personalized service that you need, whether you're buying or selling your first home or an investment property, Dave and Mark are here to help you every step of the way. If you're selling, they develop custom advertising tailored to your specific property to make sure the best marketing is provided. They do custom property websites, professional photography, virtual tours, aerial videos, network marketing, and even print advertising just to make sure that your home sells for top dollar. If you're looking to buy Key Real Estate Group, they make sure you get a level of service that goes above and beyond anything you could have expected. Custom property searches and instant notifications when listings that fit your needs hit the market in real time. The technology is on your side. Give Dave and Mark a call today at 720-900-LIST. That's 720-900-LIST or online at keyrealestategroup.com. That's keyrealestategroup.com. Greenfield's Pool and Sports Bar has it all. Seriously, they've got everything under one roof. Every seat is a great seat to watch your favorite teams. Plus, they have every NFL game. They've also got a pool hall with 15 tables and live music with no cover. Greenfield's also has the best happy hour in Lakewood. Two-for-one wine, well, and drafts from 3 until 7 p.m. Yep, two-for-one. Who else does that? Plus, free pool Monday through Friday until 4. No one does it like Greenfields and Lakewood. It's got something for everyone. If you're looking to get the most powder for your dollar this winter, look no further than Loveland Ski Area's unrestricted four-pack. Unlike other mountains, Loveland's four-packs are actual lift tickets that you can use any way you like. Use them yourself on four different days or share with friends and family all on the same day, any day of the season. No restrictions and no blackouts. Four-packs are only available through November 21st, so visit SkiLoveland.com and grab your four-pack today. Loveland Ski Area. 
More snow, less crowds, no fuss. If you need that extra energy lift to get the day started, or if you need that kick into gear in the afternoon, grab a Go Fast Energy Drink, a local Colorado company. Go Fast is the ultimate energy partner to fuel you through speed bumps during the day for a limited time only. Get $10 off your next online order starting October 24th, just in time for the holidays through November 24th. Find Go Fast Superior Tasting Energy online at GoFast.com. Use code MHSR for $10 off your order of your favorite Go Fast Energy Drink, and there's always free shipping. Never slow. Go fast. It's the Game of Love with Jessica Smith. Hello, everyone. I'm Jessica Smith. This is the Game of Love on Mile High Sports. I have my friends Jordan Kahana here and Alex Weber. Thank you for being here, gentlemen. Thank you. All right. So Alex is, or no, I'm sorry. Jordan is streaming on TikTok. And on the break, we were just talking about how social media plays a role in our love lives. And um, it, it, it's a thing. And, um, you know, Alex and I have talked about it privately um, when we've hung out, just how, you know, when you are a public figure, it, it, it changes the dynamic of, of your love life. So how have you guys found that social media has helped and hindered your love lives? Is this a me start? <laughs> is that why you're laughing? I don't know why. A, I'm like laying it. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. Really it's like okay. It's okay. A, a, Alex is so happy that this is just like <laughs> falling on me because in more times than not, I'm like, Alex, start us off, man. Like I'm always letting him. So it's it's been um, – and maybe I play into this a little bit too much too sometimes, but it's it's definitely been a help and a hindrance. And so for some people, um, me having a large social media following – and I don't use social media in a normal way. Um, this girl that I've been recently dating was just like, I wish you had an extra like Instagram account that I could be m- just like me and my – stuff and. But there is this good balance, and it's great that I've created this um, this niche account, essentially, that is me traveling with my dogs so that when I'm out to dinner with Alex or out to – like with people, that me needing to post stories is not essential to my brand. So I right. like that I'm like, hey, when I'm with you, I am with you. If yeah. we're out adventuring and doing this thing, like that's when I'm working. And, th- and, and so that's a bit of like – that's a whole extra story, but – I try to remove social media as much as possible because I use social media kind of differently than the majority of people. And at the same time, social media is so great because it connects us to so many people. And I've said this to a lot of my friends is that since I started posting a lot on TikTok and committing myself to being on there and just kind of like, I have this idea, post it and putting myself out there, there I have removed all of my dating apps and i have found that social media and through tiktok and through my instagram now is how i'm getting connected with people also i think that for me right now dating apps feel like um i am chasing Mm -hmm. after something that i don't want like i'm just chasing for this ego boost for all this stuff well when i'm posting on social media it is for me it is growing my business it is showing my personality and there is a uniqueness around it that allows that there's this mantra that's that's on tiktok that's very popular that is i do not chase i attract and so by me putting myself out there it is bringing people and i get to choose then who i want to respond to or who i get like who pops up in my for you page or all that kind of stuff and so that's where like the positive and negatives are and like i was saying earlier i'm trying to not follow someone right off the bat if we just start talking because like Instagram's a highlight reel. Like you, <laughs> a lot of people don't look how they look on Instagram and that, you know, I- and even th- there's those elements. And I probably take it to the extreme where I try to hold off as long as possible to follow someone back or do anything along those lines. Cause I like learning about the person through them. And that's, that's kind of like where social media stands for me right now in this present time. Well, thank you for sharing that. I think that is, that's a beautiful thing. And when I was on Bumble and, and I met Jonathan, you guys met Jonathan, my man, um, what I had in my profile, I said, um, swipe right if you, and I had like a list of things. And one of the last things was if you're okay with my profession and, um, you know, with, with my my Instagram is mostly professional. I do put like fun stuff when my friends and I go out. Um, and it is um, to be very forthright. It has been a thing in my relationship that my man is like, 
he stopped following me because he's like, I, I can't deal with like your flirty nature. And I'm like, this is all business. Like I'm not out here, you know, trying to get laid or whatever. Like I, I have a business I'm, you know, needing to pay my mortgage, you know, pay my bills, you know, put my kids through school, all that good stuff. And, and it was a thing that, you know, it was, it was hurtful to him. And I would imagine like, you know, talking about the girls that you are are dating and they see this life it, and they see you interacting with women that there could be this element of jealousy and maybe and then and maybe not understanding you and not seeing you entirely they, they see they see the the business side of Jordan yeah it's it's been a thing and this is another epiphany that came to me because my last my ex-girlfriend was very jealous and very just like you can't talk to any other per like anything is just like cheating like just that she would get so over the top and i i realized like so my grandfather passed away at 95 and this was um and what i realized and what i remembered is that he was flirting with the nurses up until <laughs> his last and like in my head i'm like <laughs> i'm gonna be doing that same like it is a respectful way and is very just playful and all that like it is just in my nature to do that i like that little rush that takes place and there is a respectful element to it and i would hope that my person and the girl that i'm like that is my partner is equally attractive and and flirts as well and gets hit i would want her to get hit on like i'm not the type of guy that's like do you just look at my girl like you should be looking her at like my <laughs> chest puffs out when we are walking through a bar and she's pulling me through and i'm seeing all the guys look and i'm like yeah, I'm with her. Like, sorry guys. Like, I'm like, I am the most chest puffed out when that happens. And so, once I realize that, it's like, okay, I need to find this person who is comfortable with that, who is also doing that, and who is comfortable with my profession. And hopefully, they fall in line with that somehow. That's right. I love it. Okay, tonight Alex. I'll lead you to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold your hand. <laughs> I mean, oh, if you don't pop that, I'm, so, I'm so proud of him. Alex just smiles in the whole place. Stop. Oh it's my not. God, he is the, illuminous, the isn't he? Times through TikTok live, where everyone's like, "Oh, Jordan, your beard, your eyes," and then Alex comes in and <laughs> smiles, and they're like, "Who is that? Is he single?" <laughs> like, oh my he's God, he's got a very supportive, very supportive group. <laughs> You uh, you do you do have thanks. you do have that zest for life uh, and that energy that's so beautiful. So, thanks. what about you? How is social media help and, hmm. and hinder your love life? I would say I think one thing that's been, and I I like step into it and then I'll like back it is similar to what you're saying. Like the social media the, when it's felt best is when I'm like I take myself out of it and I'm like I just want to be a source that people go to the page and they feel good. There's good stuff here for them. And because I, I think when I first got on social media, it was like, look at me on a mountain. And like, you know, that's, Rude. I think, natural. What's wrong with that? <laughs> 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 that's your, I mean. That, no, that was so I'm sorry, I could not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. It's so egoic. I God. I tried to do it like a personal <laughs> highlight reel. All right. The feedback that I've gotten from some people is that, you know, I thought you were going to be a lot. Like I've gotten the negative feedback of because of some of the videos that I'll post or maybe like energy or whatever that online they thought that me in person was going to be quote unquote like too much or like take it easy or like enough or that's a lot of energy or like calm down. And I, I think that's just because like you see one facet of a human being on social media. You don't really see an entire human being. Mm -hmm. uh, but in terms of like dating, I did go on a date recently with someone who I guess did a, what you would call a DM slide. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and I think to Jordan's point, which is so true, uh, I, I'm at a place where I know, I know that I, I should and want to, delete the dating apps. I think there's some addiction quality to it. Mm -hmm. And there's some, there is some part of me that's like, you know, what if you're one swipe away? Like you delete it now and then tomorrow she's on it. Your soulmate's there just waiting. hundred percent. You might miss her if you don't swipe. But my gut is like, Alex, you should delete them. And to Jordan's point, I really don't like that there does feel like a seeking quality, mm -hmm. like uh, like an I'm not enough and I'm kind of like grasping at something out there versus exactly what he's saying. And there's just like whatever you believe in. I remember when I deleted the apps, I was going on a men's retreat with Jordan, with our group Men We Admire, 
And I'm like going on a guy's trip. I deleted the apps. I'm like, I don't want any of this on my mind. And it's just like the force of the universe of, of attract rather than seek. And just like Jordan was saying, like I literally flew into Lake Tahoe, met up with the guys and someone reached out to me that was like out of nowhere of basically being like, hey, do you want to go on a date while you're in Lake Tahoe? And I was just like, this is how the universe works. That's right. When I was on the dating apps, it was just not great and fell into the ether and me seeking and not connections. And then the moment I deleted it. But I'm back on them. I'm human. Oh, do um, you hear that, everyone? You know, it's it's. I want to delete them, and I feel like I really will coming up soon. Um, and then I'll just download it the next day. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know companionship, and and I mean we all want companionship at the end mm-hmm. of the day, right? And I think as much as we all maybe want like lust or a fun evening or all of that, I think when you boil it down, we just want a connection. That's right. I agree with that. Well, I am so glad that we are connecting here tonight. We're going to take one more break. We're going to come back, spend a little more time together. Thank you, guys. Um, yeah, we'll be right back on the Game of Love. Out of time. It's all so Relationships they seem from the start. On Tap Credit Union isn't your average bank or credit union. It is different. It is Colorado. Founded in 1954 in Golden, Colorado over a glass of beer, ONTAP offers great financial advice. Their members come first, offering low loan rates for cars, homes, credit cards, and more. ONTAP's mobile app gives you access to your account whether you're meeting friends at a local brewery, out on the slopes, or wherever your next adventure takes you. ONTAP Credit Union in Golden, Arvada, and at ONTAPCU.org. Member owned, Colorado proud. Federally insured through NCUA. Hi. I'm Brad Barnett, president of Mountain High Appliance, and we want to thank you, Colorado, for your continued support of our local family-owned business, especially during these unprecedented and challenging times. This year has been full of trials and tribulations that have resulted in a worldwide shortage of major household appliances. The result is much longer than usual wait times for the delivery of most appliances you purchase from anywhere across the country. While we know these delays can be frustrating, rest assured that Mountain High Appliance will do everything in our power to secure the appliances that you desire as quickly as possible. We are dedicated to listening to your needs and providing you with the necessary information to make an educated decision about your appliance purchase. Have an appliance need that just can't wait? We always have amazing deals on in-stock appliances at our Denver Clearance Center. For over 27 years, you have been here for us, and we will continue to be here for you. Visit us in Louisville, Littleton, our Clearance Center in Denver, or online at mountainhighappliance.com. Mountain High Appliance, your favorite appliance store. Thank you. The NFL season is flying by, and there is a big Week 10 Sunday afternoon matchup. Of course, here locally, the Eagles against the Broncos. FanDuel Sportsbook is about to make it even bigger because FanDuel is giving new customers 30 to 1 odds on either team to win. That means you can win 150 bucks on a $5 bet. This is what I love about FanDuel Sportsbook. It is easy to use, plus you're going to get paid in as little as two hours. Already a FanDuel Sportsbook user, FanDuel is hooking up all customers with 50 bucks when you refer a friend. Plus, your friend is going to get $50 too. Just invite them using your exclusive referral link which can easily be found when you tap the refer icon. Just sign up with my promo code Mile High this week before Philly takes on Denver. You can win 150 bucks on a $5 bet. Again, my promo code is Mile High. Must be 21 years or older and present in Colorado. New users only. $10 first deposit required. Must wager in designated offer market. Max bonus $150. Restrictions apply. See full terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. And if you have a gambling problem, call 1 800 522 4700. If you need that extra energy lift to get the day started, or if you need that kick into gear in the afternoon grab a go fast energy drink a local colorado company go fast is the ultimate energy partner to fuel you through speed bumps during the day for a limited time only get ten dollars off your next online order starting october 24th just in time for the holidays through november 24th find go fast superior tasting energy online at gofast.com use code mhsr for ten dollars off your order of your favorite go fast energy drink and there's always free shipping never slow go fast That's the motto. Throw it back with no chaser, with no trouble. Popping that moe, baby, let's make some. It's the game of love with Jessica Smith. Hello, everyone. I'm Jessica Smith. This is the Game of Love on Mile High Sports. I have Jordan Kahana here, Alex Weber. My friends, my friends are here. 
Thank you guys for being here. Um, love having you here. Love putting you guys in the hot seat and like tell me all of your I'm secrets. Sweaty. Little squirms. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Um, Oh my gosh, you guys! Uh, when when the mics were off, uh, there was more coming in. Oh, and I was like, gosh, if we had another hour, I would really get in there. But since we have such Ooh. limited time left, um, oh, you know what I want to I want to I want to do. Okay. Um, last time that I had, I think Alex on the show, we went out afterwards yeah. and and we went to a, a local a local place. We went to local. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, we went to local and um, we sat down. It was a gorgeous summer night. We had some drinks uh -huh. and uh, we did like lightning fire, uh, like a lightning round um, questioning okay. with you two. Okay. So how about we'll do that? Okay. And if you guys want to stop and tell a story or like make fun of somebody or call somebody out, um, let's do it. We call it thunder. Yeah. OK. Are you ready? <laughs> All right. Um, I'm so nervous. Yeah. <laughs> who has the most exciting love life? I think it's equal. You think it's equal? I actually do think it might be. Okay, all right. We, when, so, this is pretty spicy. <laughs> you can't do <laughs> No, it's, it's equal, I, I will say, because we both come, like, especially when we were living in L.A., and we would meet up every couple months, like, we'd only, because he travels so much, I travel so much, so we'd meet up for, like, coffee or a drink or something like that to just, like, catch up, and we'd each probably equally have, a, a, a you know, sure. a, enough stories a, to a, fill the time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's it's e I'd say it's equal. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> who has the wildest sex life? Oh, Jordan! <laughs> it's Jordan. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize the lightning round was just gonna be. Uh... <laughs> um, define wild. I I, I mean, what? Alex, what? Because uh, yeah, I want to I want to say things, but we promised not to Alex throw each other blushing. under the bus here beforehand. So like. I think let's define wild. Yeah. Okay. Wild. <laughs> <laughs> you two are adorable right now. Um, both sweating. Yeah. Uh, blushing. Okay. Mm. So, um, okay. Who's having the most sex? I think that Jordan. <laughs> 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 You're literally asking us to go against what we promised each other. Literally in the car, we're like, okay, so we just won't out the other person or whatever they're up to. And now it's just okay. Um, uh, let's see. <laughs> who? Uh, oh, who? Okay, I'll I'll do a nicer one. I'll do okay. a sweeter one. Okay, great. Um, who is, who is the sweetest when it comes to dating? Uh, I think that was a backhanded. Just as tough. <laughs> it's like who's the bigger dickhead? Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, man. Yeah, I know this. This. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> it's, it, it, see, it seems pretty equal, like uh, uh, for that as well. Like I, I hate to be picking one side or the other. So like I'm, I, I, my first thought was to say Alex, but then I think about like people that I've dated that I really cared about and, and things and like put the effort and all of that, but not saying that I'm sitting here and being like dismissive of people as well. Sure. So. Yeah, keep keep going with these. I'm trying to find okay. one that we can really hit on that feels most comfortable. <sighs> um, who um, who plans the best dates? Yeah, I think you do too. I didn't know if he was pointing to me, but then I looked and he just wasn't. I was, I was, he was just he was pointing raised, to himself. He, uh, jo I think Jordan does. Yeah, I mean, this guy's going on like he's like, hey, do you want to go to like Olympic National Park and stay in a treehouse with like bald eagles? Well, well, so that's that's an issue that I do like I I do try to I go zero to a hundred sometimes with girls. Like I said, hey, just be my like f you know girlfriend for five days, yeah. and that is a an issue that I've had, and I've talked to like therapists about that before, where I'm just like let's skip all this middle ground stuff and let's just like see if like, cause you find out the most about someone when traveling with them. And it's Definitely. like, we either like, let's jump to this, but also like, Hey, I'm having this opportunity that I'm getting like a free stay at this amazing place. I don't want to go by myself. Like, and so it is a bit of a challenge with that sometimes. And from like a smaller end of things, I 
like this summer I was dating a girl that I was really into and I noticed myself because I'd usually if like I meet someone off a dating app I'd be like hey let's just grab a drink let's just like and and with her I was like hey do you want to go like bowling do you want to go mini golfing do we can go axe throwing there's the Rockies game there's like and and that was noticeable to me when I'm like I want to be doing activities and things and engaging as opposed to just like are we catching a vibe and okay mm -hmm. let's like make out at the end of the night and this is like no yeah. i want to do some fun activities and that's like the big difference i mean we could always go to a farm if we want to also oh did you go did you go on a date to a farm that is so adorable <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. oh my god i gotta the hear the voice this. that you do oh my gosh all right so I I'm gonna respect her privacy, but I I went on a few dates with. She is so wonderful, and she uh, basically runs a farm in 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 Boulder, and Jordan loved her. And every time I would bring her name up, I would start to say her name, and Jordan would just like unintentionally have this like voice that he would go into. <laughs> Oh, are you hanging out with her? Like, uh, and you d you did, I did the, the voice. voice when I yeah. She I just was, picked up on the so vibe. Cool. I don't know if we had the, um, I don't know. I, I, and I think we may revisit it. I don't know if the romantic spark was there, and as much as just being like maybe we're just like really maybe dear friends. I get that. I yeah. get that. Uh, on the break, you were bringing up a topic about people hmm. resurfacing. Oh, yes, 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 <laughs> he yes, got yes, scared. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so, uh, there's a lot okay. of topics. It's weird that the like... mic went out. <laughs> I know. It's so funny that no, Mr. Question to talk about. Uh, Mr. You know, American Ninja Warrior, you know, TED Talk speaker, you're on stages, and then right. you, you sit down here with me, and I, like, I'm watching you sweat. I love it. <laughs> Um, it's an honor. People don't interrogate me in those situations. <laughs> I can prep. Uh, uh, yeah, let's talk about resurfacing. And well, um, well, so and this is kind of cool. Dr. Henry Cloud, he wrote the foreword to the book, which meant a lot, and he's a relationship expert in the world. Dr. Henry Cloud, check him out. Amazing guy. And he has a book. It's actually called Never Go Back. And I always think about that because – there is something one of us, you know, if and I'm trying to remember that now because there was someone that kind of resurfaced and like part of me is like, oh, that'd be fun to like see him and go on a hike or go on a date. And then I'm reminding myself, well, there was a reason why we fizzled. There was a reason why we ended. And so, yes, we could definitely go on that date and maybe be a fun experience, but it would most likely fizzle again. Like there was something there. So I don't know. I, th I think we have to trust the you that was actually in those moments. I agree with that. And I think if there was a situation that there was a fizzle and then, you know, they come up again, I yeah. definitely think you want to take that into consideration. And, you know, if you're li living this jet setting playboy lifestyle and you have people in different ports and, you know, people pop up, you know, I would say explore that. Um, I had that happen. There was a guy that we saw each other. Um, he lived in LA and we would go. You know, we would just see each other from time to time. He was a lover. Um, that I have categories, and uh, lover is one of my favorite categories. And I would love to hear these categories. I have to oh keep, my god! Keep okay, going yeah. so yeah. real quick, I'll, yeah. real quick, I'll go over these categories. Yeah. Um, we have um, just friends, mm -hmm. and my rule is we don't <clears throat> friends. We don't sleep with friends. Okay, so I don't believe in friends with benefits. Okay. That's just me. So we have our friends. We have our friend zone, mm -hmm. and then we have the lover zone. And the lovers is we get, we sleep together have a little companionship, but we have very strict boundaries as far as th you never give your heart to a lover. Uh, there's like communication, you know, there, there's, yeah. there's a, there's a, I actually have a podcast episode about this. Mm. It's called the art of having lovers. So mm. there's that and a beautiful protocol. You guys might want to, you know, you, you guys might be in a place that you're taking on just lovers. And mm. um, then you have the potential uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, slot and then you have the the significant other so 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 uh, where's that gray area between lovers and the potential because mm. like there's this and then there's like the relationship people so that's where things get a little muddy for me even just yes. hearing you talk about that that is a great question and really with lovership you go into it with your eyes wide open and it's one of those things that you have to be really, really real with yourself and the other person. And there might be something that you already know that you're not going to have a relationship with them because of this. Mm -hmm. But you're like, but yeah, you know, I'm really attracted to you. And we have this moment in time and let's just enjoy each other. 
but it could be a situation that they they never want to get married or they want right, to have right. kids or you know there could be these yeah. big deal breakers and you're like okay so when you go into having a lover yeah. you have to have that conversation about the the container in which you guys are operating and be you know very straightforward and honest and like we are going to be so in it when we're together it's going to be hot and passionate and all this and when we're not together we you know we we have minimal communication so um and a rule that i have with that to better answer your question is you I don't allow people to move in and out of categories. Wow. I was going to ask if you did, if there was like a, like yeah. a belt storm ceremony, like in karate class yeah. and they get, Ooh, but, but, nice. but no. they're just, <laughs> you're in a category and you can't get out. You can't get out. And what if they, there's nothing they can do. There's no like evaluation at the end of the quarter or something. You know, I, I put strict boundaries on this because it's rare. So I'm not saying 100% of the time, but like 95% of the time, the person is not going to jump categories. So wow. and and really that's to that's to protect you that's to protect your heart and your time and I love this. and yeah, uh, that's true. and that's why I I don't like uh, friends with benefits because it's too it's too gray it's too like I don't know it's like uh, what was the fourth one sorry uh, the last one like sig- significant yeah, other yeah. partnership but, but how uh, to me lover sounds friends with benefits. Well, with friends, like, you know, you can I understand that there's that friend zone, but the yeah. friend like you are not giving your heart to that. So are you saying that you're like with your friends, you're giving your heart and commitment of just like I care about you. Yeah. But there's not the sexual side of things. Right. And then with the lover side of things, it's just like you you ha- you like don't care. Like there's no there's there's just restrictions on okay. it. There's Fair restrictions. Yeah, okay. It's just like yeah, 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 we care it. about each other, uh-huh. and we're we're just going to be respect. there's got, respect, okay. and there's some non attachment. Because with gotcha. friends with benefits, it can get really muddy because you know you're you guys love each other, right? I'm not saying you guys so are gonna, much, so much, you know. And and if and if there's this <laughs> that did not come out how I meant it to come out. Um, if there's a situation where you are friends with someone. Yeah. And you're also attracted to the point that you really want to sleep with them. Then it begs the question, why are you not dating? Why? I I did basically fall in love with one of my friends uh, who is a female. Mm -hmm. And uh, just to answer your question, she did not want. And and that wrecked me. Right. And and to be honest, we really couldn't be friends. We tried for a while, but it was always a little weird because it was there. It was there that I felt something. She didn't feel it. Yeah, so I, I agree with your categories. I'm in. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Yeah. And that's exactly why I, because I don't want to screw up my friendships. And, you know, it can get complicated. And in those situations, you know, one person will, you know, be more attractive and it can it can wreck a friendship. So I just have a hard boundary on it. But, but the one thing that I think about in that realm of things is that once you find a person and you start to, like, your male, your opposite, the co-ed sex friendships begin to dissipate because of you having a partner. And so for me, sometimes it's like, okay, if I feel this way about someone, even though it's a female friend, it's like, well, if I find someone else, we're not going to be friends. And fu- mm-hmm. like, there's the distance is just, we're just going to fizzle. So if those feelings are there, it's like, kind of throw the Hail Mary like to to see what's up and yeah. it's kind of like cutting I don't know well well said well <laughs> said I don't know if it was but yeah. okay sadly we just have like a minute left um tell tell the people how they can find you how they can get your book where they can watch your TikToks and your beautiful oh, dogs uh, so Alex Weber, one B and Weber. I'm Alex Weber on all the things. The book is called Fail Proof. It's on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. And if you do get it, shoot me a note. It means a lot to hear from you. And uh, Jessica, you're the best. Thank I'll you. guess I have to do with Jordan, but thank you for having us. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm Jordan Kahana on all platforms. And uh, yeah, come say hi, please. Thank you guys so much for being on the show. Thank you for being my friend. I just adore you too. It's so much fun having you guys here. Um, And thank you for listening on this beautiful Friday night. Um, Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the Game of Love After Dark. I had to change my voice when I say After Dark. Uh, (laughs) And um, tune in next week because I will have... um, 
my special guest, Chris Thompson on. He's oh, he was on my live earlier. I was gonna oh, I was gonna tell you to oh. connect with him. That's amazing that you got connected yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. We're we're buddies now. He's amazing. coming on the show. He's he's so much fun Great. and we're gonna he's talk about love. So yeah. yeah, I I think we're gonna have to have a big party and awesome. um, yeah. all get together and amazing. go paint this town red. Love that. Um thank you guys so much for being here, sending you so much love. Until next time, get out there and love each other. It's time to get out and have some real family fun. And the place to go is a